There we go. Uh, I don't know why I do this stupid stuff. Bought this little Escort. Focus. Not an Escort anymore. Little uh, damage. Little auction car. Something to fix up. Needs this door fixed over here. And uh, it's got a few little dings and scratches and stuff. This is a 2013. So this would be a good flipper. These sell real good. This is the new Boron Steel. Got a little uh, love dent in the door over here. And a little wave down here. We'll uh, get that straightened up. Give us a little uh, paint video next week. So there we go. 2013 Focus. Focus and Mocus. This thing runs pretty good. Cats like it. So we'll get on that. Do that Monday. So we're laying low today. Hans takes off to go to New Orleans today. So uh, lose my son for the summer. I hate it when that happens. He can be a big help when he wants to be. So uh, yeah, not a whole lot going on in here. We gotta get this uh, situated. No quarter panels for the Cougar. Uh, my only option is gonna be the used route and uh, nobody's called me back on the used quarters for this yet. So uh, apparently they make the uh, this piece here in front of the wheel and uh, the lower back there so uh, this side I'm not too concerned with I think I can make everything I need to make over here as far as the inner structure and uh, the wheel opening the other side will be a little challenging uh, you know it's a pretty big hole over there so uh, I might try the, the fender route I had a couple guys uh, say hey man I want to get a fender with the same uh, shape front fender and try to you know build a wheel opening and I might try that. I've seen that before on YouTube and it seems to work pretty good. I think uh, HPR has done something on that and uh, a couple of the guys. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to have to do something with that and uh, come up with something for the wheel openings. I've talked to a bunch of different Cougar people. I've checked all the resources that uh, you guys put on my page and pretty much you can get that patch panel in the front and below the body line in the back and that's it for a 67. I think they do have fenders available. Uh, if you got a 69, you can get the quarters, the fenders, uh, the whole shooting match, but not with this one. So today I need to finish uh, getting this stripped off and I'm gonna etch prime it and put it in epoxy. Somebody asked me if, uh, you know, whether to do the bond, uh, strip it, do the Bondo work, then prime it. Uh, I don't do it that way and it's personal preference you know we've been over this a couple times now and uh, I'm not saying that you know whoever does it different than me is doing it wrong it's just the way that I was taught and it makes the most sense to me uh, my my procedure is I'll strip the car in metal I'll put it in etch primer before any of the body works done then I'll epoxy primer the whole car and I'll do all my body work over the epoxy uh, if I'm doing a general repair, you know, then I'll grind it to metal and I'll fix a little dent. But if I'm doing a restoration, the whole car, and I'm going to do body work all over it, I like to put the whole body in epoxy, uh, like we did the Volkswagen. Uh, we actually got that prime now. But uh, if you put it in epoxy, every time you touch the car, like you can see somebody's touched it here, somebody's touched it here and here, uh, you get these little handprints all over the car if you don't get it primed and sealed down right from the start and uh, you leave your metal open too long while you're doing the body work I feel. So I like to start with the whole car in epoxy and uh, it also gives you a good visual on all your dents and dings. Uh, it's hard to see that stuff in bare steel. Uh, I don't put epoxy over bare steel. I always use an etch primer. Uh, that's just how I recommend to do it. Uh, if you're using a different type of product other than Matrix, uh, there are some products out there that have an uh, etch built into the uh, epoxy or you know some sort of uh, rust deterrent but uh, I think etch the chemical process is the best uh, way for me I get very little rust back or uh, you know repairs coming back from uh, rust so uh, being that we're pretty close to the beach here and we have a lot of rain you know we got to take every precaution that we can to make the job last uh, somebody else had mentioned soda blasting uh, getting the car blasted instead of stripping it manually um, 
that is the best way to do it if you have the budget for it but you got to consider a box of this uh blue fire uh paper from norton it's right around 35 bucks i stripped this whole car uh, i'm going to use less than a box probably and uh you know the rest is manual labor uh an afternoon probably a good day you could have this car stripped and another day you could have it primed uh soda blasting uh, in my area to have this car done would have been about seventeen hundred dollars uh, generally uh, it's about fifteen hundred bucks to get a car soda blasted and uh, you know you have some issues with that there's a lot of cleanup and uh, you're pretty much in the same place after you get the car soda blasted you need to etch it epoxy it it's just a little quicker uh, because you don't see the car during the stripping process but fifteen hundred dollars is a big shot of your budget you know to uh, give to a guy to strip your car so you might want to consider whether you know you have the budget to have your car stripped uh, funny enough i started off doing model a's with my stepfather back in the you know early 70s and uh, the epa regulations and such were much different than they are today and uh, we used to actually have those dip we would buy the car take it to the strip shop was the name of the place and uh, we disassemble the car and it actually uh, dipped the whole car in a tank and uh, they would use some sort of an asset stripper and uh, it'd take everything off all the paint inner panels outer panels the car would come back completely clean and uh, he had an option there where he could actually dip the car in an etch tank and we used to always have the car dipped so when we picked it up it would be in uh, you know our first step of primer uh, back then we used uh, dp40 it wasn't dlf or dplf or whatever it is now uh, it wasn't environmental friendly it was a one-to-one -one mixture you let that sit for a half an hour and uh, it would stick to any kind of steel or anything uh, but we always got the cars back in like the etch primer uh, there's another place here called strip master and they do the same thing they got a package where they'll blast the car and they give it to you an etch so you know if you're transporting the car home and you run into some weather or if you know you don't get the car inside right away it does have some protection so so we got to get this cleaned up today uh get some primer on it uh, i got to be able to get that focus in here and get that knocked out so i can sell that at the auction this week and uh buy some food because uh, you need food and uh stuff like that we still got our little motor sitting over here our 1600 I put our cylinders together I'm still uh, waiting on a set of heads I got a set of heads soaking out there we'll get those cleaned up and we'll go ahead and uh, finish this build up probably the beginning of the week get it in long block form uh, hopefully I get Hans to uh, edit up that video for me before he leaves I got it all uh, marked out and everything for him so he's just got to uh, upload it and teach it all together so that's where we're at that's what we're doing today hope everybody's having a good sunday and uh might try to get into the mumble tonight you guys don't forget about the mumble a lot of guys are uh wanting to get in there but they forget about it because they don't know what day of the week it is and uh i have that same problem don't know what day of the week it is so today is sunday so uh day of rest for a lot of people and uh get on that mumble and uh you can uh talk to some of the guys in the garage it's pretty cool so uh that's what's going on no uh lights in here yet gotta turn some lights on get some stuff moving around i'm gonna take a little drive this morning in the bug because uh the weather's sort of nice and uh here we're gonna have some rain tonight so gonna get it while it's good make a quick drive video maybe and uh yeah so we'll go ahead and get this morning vlog put up and uh mm -hmm. stuff like that not a whole lot going on in Florida today. They're pretty partly cloudy, waiting for the afternoon shower. And uh, yeah, had a lot of rain lately. A lot of heat and a lot of rain. So uh, you guys go out there and make the best of it. We'll talk to you in a little while.